This is the free motion quilting tutorial for saw blades. This design is stitched by first stitching a large circle. And you can make this as big or as small as you want really, but I'd say aim for the size of a quarter at least. Then you're going to swirl around and inside with this arch shape, aiming for the center of the circle. You kind of have to visualize the center of the circle. And you're going to just simply travel stitch and work your way around, arching into that center and back out to the edge of the circle. Back and forth until you reach all the way around back to the beginning. This creates an effect that kind of looks like a saw blade. That's why I named it that. And if you want to, you can fill in with little circles around it. But really, I kind of aimed for fairly big circles here. Um, it, it, it can definitely be a fill, and a very nice fill. But you want these to be big enough so that you're not squishing and, and really struggling to get these beautiful art shapes into the space consistently. I really liked it whenever the starting circle was at least the size of a quarter. And I also found that it was a lot easier to kind of branch into it when I was uh, moving into the circle kind of in a downward motion. You can see how I'm just kind of swirling uh, that arch in the, the downward direction. Whenever I was trying to form it the opposite way, kind of creating more of a C shape than a U shape, I just found it a little bit more difficult, but play with it and see what works best for you. Play with the different directions. So I found making it in that direction that I just stitched and then I, you'd see that I actually changed direction right there. And that was because it just felt a little awkward to me. Uh, everybody is different though. Our brains work differently. So one way might work better for you and it doesn't work for me and that's perfectly fine. All of these designs, all of these videos is kind of a, just a a springboard for you to run with and but please take the design and play with it and make it your own um, stitch it in a way that feels most comfortable for you so it's going to look the best on your quilts now this is a stacking design all of these shapes are stacking together and uh, really filling in the background area or the space in your quilt very consistently so this is going to be a design that works best in areas that uh, are kind of open and uncomplicated. Yes, you could make these saw blades very small and tiny and squish them into small areas, but it would probably be a big giant headache. So I would say an open, uncomplicated area, like around a very large applique or in pieced blocks, that's be really good areas for this design to go in. Another thing to keep in mind, even though these are very large circles, it is a time-consuming design. It took around 30 minutes to fill this 4-inch square with uh, this size and shape of circles. So you can kind of multiply that by the space that you're wanting to fill in your quilt and see how time-consuming it's going to be. It's not something I would want to cover acres and acres with. It would just take a lot of time. So bearing all that in mind, here's what it looks like whenever you finish saw blades. If you enjoyed this design saw blades, you're going to love the more than 300 free motion quilting tutorials we have available at the Free Motion Quilting Project. Check it out at freemotionproject.com.